Road bikes are steeped in history and tradition. The modern road bike as we know it was designed for racing. Why else would a bike company make a lightweight, fast road bike? Where else can they get the most publicity for their machines? Under bike racers. From weekday crit racers to professional teams, road bikes are designed for racing. And there's rules when it comes to designing road bikes. The rules of aerodynamics apply. The rules of tradition apply. The rules of the governing bodies that sanction racing apply. But what if the people who designed road bikes were allowed to ignore all of those rules and design a bike following one rule? It has to be fun to ride. Well, that's just what the engineers and designers that specialize did. Well, they weren't necessarily allowed to break those rules. According to Stu Thompson at Specialized, his team kept this project a secret from the bean counters for over a year until they had a finalized design for fear that someone would cancel the whole thing before it could become a reality. And that design process was extensive. Over 100,000 computer simulations and billions of calculations were run before they landed on 20 frame shapes. Then they built those frames and started testing the bikes, looking for a frame that designed first and foremost the best ride quality possible. And this is what they ended up with, the specialized Athos, a bike built simply for the love of riding. First, let's just admire the look of this bike. The first rule that Specialized broke was the rule about branding. Specialized loves to plaster their name on their bikes in big letters and they come in bright, flashy colors. Not with Athos. The graphics are subdued and the paint tones are muted, but they're not dull. This bike tells its own story, not the graphics. These colors are full of depth, but they don't scream at you. This bike feels simple, but it isn't. Next, let's look at the frame construction. Because road bikes usually have to follow the rules of racing, aerodynamics is usually everything. And for racing, that's true. But Athos is not about racing. It's about ride quality and it's about efficiency. So you'll notice the shape of these tubes is conical, not hourglass. This shape provides the bike with an incredible amount of stiffness for energy transfer and ultimate control. A remarkable smooth ride that helps you spend hours on the road without getting beat up by the pavement, all while using a minimal amount of material. The transition from head tube to the fork and even the shaping of the fork is almost seamless. Again, this fork isn't bladed for aerodynamics, the shaping is more round. The result is a front end that's super responsive to rider input without using excess materials. The bottom bracket shell doesn't look like any modern carbon fiber frame. In fact, as Specialized was teasing the Athos, they were showing a bike behind a sheet with just the silhouette showing through, and I had a bunch of people ask me, is that a new titanium bike? Well, it almost looks like it's made out of metal, but this is all carbon fiber. By its appearance, you may think that the bottom bracket shell may flex. Nope. Because the design is so efficient, all of that energy that you put into the pedals is transferred pushing you forward. Front end stiffness, bottom bracket stiffness, rear triangle stiffness, Athos is one of the most responsive bikes ever produced. All while delivering a smooth ride that can be ridden for hours and hours for miles and miles. Every Eric staffer who has ridden Athos has been blown away by how responsive it is. One slight movement and the bike is ready to go. Now these shapes are not the most aerodynamic, so you won't see this bike under a pro rider sprinting for the finish, but that's not the point. The point is to deliver a ride that will keep you smiling and enjoying the ride the whole time. The result is a bike that looks like an old school metal bike, but is in reality, the lightest disc frame road bike ever created. As light as 13.12 pounds for a complete bike, well below the limits for pros to race. The frame, just over a pound and a quarter. So how did this bike get so light while still being stiff and strong? by being 100% efficient in how the materials are used. If you're not familiar with how a carbon fiber bike is made, just think of it as super space age paper mache. Sheets of material are laid on top of each other to shape the bike. With many bikes, they have to use multiple layers to achieve their stiffness or strength goals. With Athos, there are no lazy fibers. While other bikes can end up with a wall thickness of up to five millimeters, there's no areas of Athos thicker than two millimeters. All of this is the result of those computer models and the fact that the rules of aerodynamics don't have to apply. While other super light frames in this class can be delicate, even so delicate that the manufacturer will actually tell you not to sit on the top tube, not Athos, this frame is strong and robust throughout and it even carries a rider weight limit as high as 275 pounds. 
Athos is another beyond gender bike that's made for riders, not genders. And it follows the rider first tradition where each frame size is specifically designed for the size of riders using it. Here you see all of the individual pieces of carbon fiber for two of the same bike. One in one of the smaller sizes and the next one in the bigger size. Stock, the bikes are being shipped with 700 by 26 turbo cotton tires, but you have the clearance for up to 700 by 32 tires for a little more smooth in your groove, should you desire. A threaded bottom bracket keeps everything simple. Athos is designed for one thing, enjoying the ride. And enjoy it, you will. Check out Athos at your favorite Eric's location or at shopericks.com. He pedals good bikes.